Pro boxing fans here, and we have the pleasure of being joined by Lennox Clark, undefeated super middleweight. Lennox, how are you keeping today? Yeah, I'm, I'm great, thank you. Really good, yeah. Good, good. Um, so, fighting for the British and Commonwealth strap, taking on slickster Laurent Richards. Would it be fair to say this is a step up in quality for you? Yeah, 100%. Uh, in quality, he's definitely he's his top competitor. He's a very good boxer, you know, so yeah, you are right. Step up in quality, yeah. Um, one thing you said in the press conference was that you're not going to allow him to, to dictate the pace and have it his own way and do what he wants to do. How do you sort of nullify his technical prowess? Yeah, we'll leave that to the night, but uh, yeah, we've been working on things, so uh, as long as I can pull him off on the night, then it'll be a very hard night for Laurent. Talk to us a little bit about when you're coming up against someone who likes to be a bit of a slickster boxing on the back foot. What's the, what's the key to be able to cut off the ring and stuff like that? Like you said, just cut off the ring, be in the right positions, don't overreach, be controlled of the centre. You know, we're, just, we're going to be there, mate, we're going to be there. You're fighting here, uh, what, what, 10 miles from your hometown, is that right? Like, uh, it's not here, it's at the arena. It's at the arena in Birmingham, which is about a mile away. I live probably three miles away from the city centre, so it's, it's my home turf, basically, yeah. yeah. I guess in football, the, the term is the 12th man. Have you ever experienced sort of the, the, the energy that your home, cow, your home crowd can create and sort of utilise that energy to your advantage? I mean, it always goes in your favour when you've got your home support. It's always better to be on your own pitch. You know, um, but I haven't really experienced it because in that ring, it, it seems like it's only you and him. There's nothing else going on. So you could be, you could be in the middle of this football pitch now. You could be anywhere. It's only you two. Yeah. Do you get that sort of tunnel vision when you're in there as well. Like, do you, do you hear the shouts from ringside? You don't know. It's mad. You think you was in your own little ball. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter where you are really in boxing. But I know it's a nice little uh, edge to have knowing you are at home on the build-up and things. But uh, on the night, it's only me and Lerone. You know. Does it add a layer of pressure in performing in front of your home fans? You know, I'm channeled, I'm going to be uh, focused uh, fully, so uh, no, not really, no. What does a win over, um, what does a win do for your career? It's a massive win, um, this is a massive win. People who, who don't know me say it's going, to, they're going to say it's a massive ask. I've got full belief in my ability and I've got full belief of what I'm going to do, so yeah. You just mentioned the people that don't know you. Tell us a little bit about your story. What are your reasons for getting into boxing? What's it done for you? Yeah, just just, uh, just got into boxing, a uh, uh, chance really. Um, just walking into a gym, putting some gloves on, having a spa, enjoying it, getting beat up, coming back for revenge. Quite late in my teens, 19 years old. Um, you know, so that's how I got into it really. It was just a chance. Like, like, I'm not a kid who's been boxing all my life. But uh, since I have been boxing, it's given me a lot of uh, self-discipline, control, a lot of focus from a lot of focus outside the ring as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So um, one of the uh, questions we're asking everyone today is that what, what in the light of the um, fatality we had in America with Patrick Day, uh, young prospect unfortunately passing away, is there anything that you a lot's done to mitigate the risk of fighting? But is there anything you think that in terms of boxing safety can be done a little bit more? All I can say is maybe more frequent brain scans. Maybe because uh, obviously was sparring hard rounds. Maybe maybe he was hurt before he went in. You never know. He could have cut weight wrongly. Like we don't know what he done for his preparation. But maybe more uh, brain scans. Maybe having them twice a year, other than one time. Uh, and just finally, Alex, tell us exactly why we need to tune in come November 30. Because uh, I, I promise you, an exciting night of boxing myself. What I'm going to bring is going to be exciting. It's going to be entertaining for you to watch. So yeah, tune in. Alex Clark, thanks for being a pro boxing fan. Thank you. Cheers, man.